All right, we're signing Yaja Barrico from Street Scores. Sorry, do not question the outfit. Been doing yard work since 9 a.m. It's 2 p.m. now, and I still have more to do. That's the reason I didn't change out to do this video because I'm about to just get right back up, probably mid-video. Maybe the next time you see me recording, I will have a regular outfit on, but I wanted to at least record as much as I could before I got to get back to that. So, of course, as you see by the title, Josh Harris, Magic Johnson, and Mitchell Rails, that combination of a group. There may be other people involved as well, but all that really matters Matter is that they have placed the first official formal bid to buy the commanders from Dan Snyder. The other ones were like bids to kind of show that they're interested. This is how much we're thinking about putting in. This is the first like, okay, Dan Snyder, you're asking for six billion. Well, here goes six billion. So we got to talk about what all of that means. Also, Tillman Fertitta already apparently dropped out with the fact that he bought a casino. I'm gonna break down why that matters. So Tillman Fertitta looks to be out. You still have Steve A, who's potentially in it. You have Brian. Ryan Davis, who just randomly came out of nowhere yesterday in his group that I'm still not too sure about. Then, of course, you also have Jeff Bezos, who could always just come in and just defeat all of this, put all of this to rest and just offer more than anybody else can offer. So that's always still an option. But he hasn't even placed one of the unofficial offers yet, let alone the official bid that the Harris, Rails and Johnson group have put together officially today. So Jeff Bezos is two steps behind. But don't forget, he did sign an NDA so that he can investigate all of the commanded stuff going on, looking at their financial stuff, all of that. So do not count out jeff bezos but this is huge news i mean what if dan snyder just at some point today just says all right man somebody's finally giving me what i asked for i might as well just go ahead and do it because josh harris and those guys were the favorite even before this official bid but they were offering less than what dan snyder asked for again today they officially said you want six billion here six billion it's in your court now so you never know things may pop off maybe by the time i even edit this video and put it out the commanders will be sold i highly doubt it but you never know what's going to happen moving forward but we're going to break down everything going on with the situation, of course. But before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell next to the subscription button so you get notification immediately. And every time I release an informative and opinionated video just like this one, make sure you pull up every Sunday for the call in live show. Make sure you pull up with all your questions, your opinions, everything. May not be able to do it this upcoming Sunday, but I may try to fit it in sometime during the week this week before sunday since i won't be able to do a sunday we'll see i'll keep y'all in tune but of course stay tuned for everything draft everything for agency film sessions mock drafts all of that and without further ado let's get it Again, I apologize for the outfit. But again, all of this started when Adam Schefter tweeted the Josh Harris Mitchell Rails group, which now includes Magic Johnson, officially has submitted a fully financed bid that meets Dan Snyder's $6 billion asking price per source. And I feel like that definitely needs to be emphasized. Submitted a fully financed bid. This is not like a, okay, we think we can come up with this amount and we're willing to put down this much if y'all meet us in some way, have halfway or somewhere like that we need a loan whatever whatever is going on they have it done on their end they don't necessarily need the nfl for it they have everything they need on their end and it's up to dan snyder to basically say yes or no or to let this linger and maybe allow somebody else to come in and bid adam Schefter also tweeted if accepted this deal would break the previous record sale for a franchise set last august when a group led by walmart hair rob walton bought the denver broncos for 4.65 billion so the commanders are worth more than a billion more than the previously highest sold franchise in nfl history the commanders even with all the mediocrity and losing that we've done still a top market still a top brand from what we did in the 80s and early 90s so it's still worth a lot of money even with all of the just imagine if we weren't losing Oh, wait a minute. Breaking news literally a minute ago. Canadian billionaire Steve, still can't pronounce his name, Steve A, also has submitted a fully funded $6 billion offer for the commanders. Remember, he's only worth like two, three billion dollars. So I'm not exactly sure where these guys are coming up with this money, but he has placed a fully funded $6 billion offer for the commanders as well. So now Dan Snyder has two people to choose from. With two groups known to have submitted bids, there's a growing belief that the commanders could be sold before the draft that is 
crazy breaking news probably just as breaking as the other one that we were already talking about with josh harris but lake lewis brings up a great point i just wonder if the harris group's six billion proposal doesn't set the stage for more investors to bid higher would snyder turn down 6.1 billion or higher or say 7 billion from bezos i know some owners will want the highest bid because it raises their franchise's values in the process so the owners probably want this to keep going like hey keep bidding higher bidding higher and that's including dan snyder but also like jerry jones and all of these other guys jim ursay all of the nfl owners the more the higher the sale for the commanders the more valuable that the nfl is as a whole and everybody's franchises are so they're like hey man this is great news that josh harris put in an official bid and now steve a has put one in as well they're competing and again jeff bezos is just somewhere in the back like <laughs> just laughing at all this little money that they putting up if he really wants it he can come in and swoop in and just take it if he wants to and just raises the bid to something astronomical that they can't even reach like something nine billion or more or something like that you gotta remember you're spending all of this money on the franchise just to get the franchise you need to have a couple of more billion on the side for this next stadium coming up as well you're gonna make a lot of money from it but you also need to have a lot of money right now to put towards it because that's coming up pretty soon the lease ends 2027 the stadium needs to be done before that so you're spending that money well before 2027 to begin the construction of the stadium and all of that you still got to figure out where the stadium is even going to be all of this type of stuff man it's just chaos right now but this is just really crazy and then again like i said earlier tillman for titta shouts out to jp finley for bringing this up tillman for titta just bought a new casino he previously sold his stake in the texans in order to get into the casino business as nfl has tight rules about casino ownership and owning an NFL franchise at the same time. And then remember, Tillman Fertitta is one of the main parties and bidders for the commanders. So if he just bought a new casino, that basically just says, I'm out. I already know how the NFL is about owning a casino and an NFL franchise. I just bought a casino recently. That shows, yeah, I put the bid in. I wanted to, but I'm moving on. I already know I have no chance versus Josh Harris group, Magic Johnson, Mitchell Rails, that combination. Then now you have Steve A stepping up big time. And then, of course, Jeff Bezos lurking in the shadows. And then this Brian Davis guy came out of nowhere. It's just chaos right now again i feel like the best news out of any of this not necessarily who's gonna buy the team but the fact that the team could potentially be sold before the draft do you understand how monumental that would be for us going into the draft we'll be able to pay free agents we'll be able to have a better idea of what we're focused on i probably will do a separate video on this or talk about this along with the ron Rivera and martin mayhew interviews that they've had since they've been at the owners meetings i definitely want to break that down i just been so busy like i said look at me look at me like i just haven't had time to do anything but i thought one notable thing that i'm definitely going to discuss in those videos so watch out for those as well probably later on tonight or tomorrow that they were contradicting themselves when it came to whether or not the commanders are open and free to do whatever they want in free agency martin mayhew just said yesterday less than 24 hours ago that no the sale of the team all of this chaos as far as off the field goes has not affected the commanders in any way then jp finley interviews ron rivera today and ron rivera is like yes this is obviously messed things up for us delayed a lot of things ron rivera did say that even since going back to carolina they've always paid players in may so that may not necessarily have had an effect on that as far as the sale goes and having the pay players waiting until may to do it rather than just paying them a couple of weeks after they sign their contracts still really rare for it to happen in the nfl but either way Ron Rivera is saying that the sale of the team doesn't affect that part but he said overall free agency wise as far as restructuring contracts trying to free up cap space it's it's been a hassle working with Dan Snyder and then whoever the new owner is going to be buying the team or ownership group or whatever we are stalled in certain ways like for agency maybe us bringing in an offensive line coach officially all of that type of stuff is probably remember we don't have an offensive lines coach right now a lot of that stuff is probably being stalled because we don't know who the new ownership is going to be and they're probably waiting for that and remember cap space wise martin mayhew said it's not really a worry right now but we don't have enough cap space currently to even pay our upcoming draft class we're gonna have to restructure some contracts before the draft and you would definitely hope to have a new owner in by then so that's very important i feel like a lot of people miss that and now going to the athletic article from ben standig titled bid to buy washington commanders from dance night is submitted by a group that includes magic johnson of course even though magic johnson is contributing the least amount of money out of the top three guys in that group josh harris mitchell rails and magic johnson people are always going to use his name as a headline and understandably so but he's 
just to let you know he's contributing the least amount of money in this situation a bid to purchase the washington commanders from dan snyder by a group that includes former nba star magic johnson is led by businessman and investor josh harris has officially been submitted a person briefed on the negotiations confirmed to the athletic on tuesday the bid according to espn's adam schefter meets snyder's six billion dollar asking price harris's bid on the broncos fell short you got to remember that magic johnson was with josh harris when he tried to buy the broncos and they missed out on it but the washington dc area native is aiming to add his hometown nfl team to a sports franchise portfolio that includes nba's philadelphia 76ers the nhl's new jersey devils and a minority stake in the premier league's crystal palace in addition to johnson the harris group includes mitchell rails founder of dana her corporation any sale requires 24 yes votes for approval following a review by the nfl's finance committee and shouts out to craig hoffman for pointing this out the finance committee does not meet at the owners meeting every owners meeting they do sometimes they have before but they did this time this owners meeting and that's very significant towards this process so just like ben standig is pointing out based on the broncos timeline last year the process is expected to take roughly two months that the league vetted harris for the denver bid may expedite the sale interesting dallas cowboys jerry jones among league's most powerful figures said this at the owners meeting that he wasn't expecting a vote on a potential sale no 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 there won't be one here so we know at the very least they won't be voting on it now but you never know it's not like they got to wait till the next owners meeting to do it next year they had that impromptu meeting out of absolutely nowhere i believe in like miami like a couple of weeks ago which they've never done before they can hold an impromptu meeting for a situation like this as well so if you're thinking oh we got to wait till the next time they meet when they would regularly meet no they could just summon a meeting out of nowhere for this situation like that other known interested parties include canadian billionaire steve a who also submitted an offer and houston rockets owner tillman for who dropped out and then even though this article was definitely published and produced after the brian davis news he didn't mention brian davis so maybe we shouldn't take that seriously who knows Amazon founder Jeff Bezos has worked with the investment bank Allen & Company while pondering his interest even though he was at least initially shut out from the bidding process but again there's been an update that Dan Snyder is reportedly not stopping Jeff Bezos from bidding on the team. If Jeff Bezos wants to bid Dan Snyder sounds like he's just willing to take whoever's going to pay him the most money he's not going to be that petty and again Jeff Bezos has already signed an NDA a non-disclosure agreement so that he can look at all of the finances and everything behind the scenes for the commanders to make a decision on whether or not he wants to buy the team but again Jeff Bezos is a whole two steps behind Steve A and the Josh Harris group right now because he hasn't even placed an unofficial bid those guys have placed official bids also Charles Gasparino just tweeted like just now breaking from source inside the NFL owners meeting the commander sale it was discussed but briefly that the process is progressing as I previously reported unlikely that the sale will occur by the meetings and will happen but Snyder is said no longer to be opposed to the Jeff Bezos bid so maybe he was at first and then he was like you know what how am I just gonna sit here and throw away potentially billions of more dollars just because of a petty beef so hey man that makes a lot of sense and then michael phillips came out with an article through richmond.com and it's pretty interesting the title there are no obstacles left to a commander sale the price is met the buyer is nfl approved and it's not bezos will necessarily be a smooth path from here to there but the finish line is in sight that's very notable that part about there are no obstacles left to a commander sale is literally probably just up to dan snyder accepting it and then it's probably going to take like a month or two for everything to finally go through and everything to officially happen i mean there's lawyers there's money there's all kinds of stuff to go behind this this is not just the dan snyder signs something whoever's buying the team signs something and then it's done there's a lot that goes down with this process according to michael if the deal is consummated at six billion dollars it would set a record for a global sports franchise so not just the nfl global sports franchise period ever of any sport including soccer the timing of the reported offer is significant as it comes before tuesday's privilege session at the nfl league meeting where owners gather to freely discuss the events of the league fully off the record that's really interesting nobody else is allowed in there it's off the record they can say whatever they want to say and they will not be held accountable the sessions have been contentious towards dan and tanya snyder in the past and the league has long been hopeful to achieve resolution on the sale during the meeting i did without having to force the team out again i've already reported they do not want to complicate this any more than they have to this team getting sold is just getting closer and
getting closer and closer and they don't want to do anything to jeopardize it happening as soon as possible so they're not even considering voting dan snyder out anymore because they're just like man please sell the team but we're not going to force you we don't want to hurt your pride because that's how jeff bezos was getting blocked out from bidding in the first place we don't want to complicate things we don't want this to take much longer we would love for the bids to keep stacking and people to keep outbidding each other and for the price to keep raising but we're not trying to have this linger on until the regular season or anything we would love for this to be done before the draft so they're afraid of voting out dan snyder right now but they will have to vote on the official sale when that happens eventually all right it's rico from 30 minutes into the future from where we just were oh the nfl owners approved players to be able to wear the number zero that's fine that's cool that's cool also since i've been gone it's reported that lisa banks and deborah katz responded to the formal bids being submitted to the washington commanders they said quote our clients are pleased to read press accounts suggesting that the tyranny of dan snyder's ownership of the commanders could be closer to an end however allowing them to sell the team at what will certainly be a large premium without full accountability for his misconduct will be a travesty of justice thus far snyder has lied to the public and congress deflected blame for his serial misconduct and refused to participate in mary joe white's investigation and that is true since he's been at the owners meeting every time they've approached them and tried to talk to him about it he's declined to answer we want an assurance from the nfl that mary joe white's report will be released without further delay snyder should not be permitted to continue dictating the timing of release of this report boy this owners meeting is spicy boy like i said man being a commanders fan the day is never dull fans of other teams i mean they see what's going on but it doesn't concern them whereas us every day is something especially with these owners meetings coming in we have other teams owners talking about what we got going on never a dull moment but boy i can't wait for it to be over man i'm telling you but yeah man that's the end of this video please get in the comment section let me know how you feel about everything discussed in this video please leave a like on this video if you liked it if you learned anything again liking the video is free for you and it means the world to me so please leave a like and also get in the comment section let me know how you feel about josh harris and his group placing an official formal bid along with steve a and whatever group he got going on placing a formal bid reaching the asking price of dan snyder do you feel like jeff bezos is going to get involved or is he like eh, i'm out do you feel like these ownership groups will just start to outbid each other and between the two that were submitted today between steve a's group and josh harris's group which one is the highest because we got six billion reportedly from both of those guys but somebody is is a million higher or a couple of million higher or at least a couple of thousand higher they're not just submitting exactly six billion dollars to the very penny so I'm really interested in knowing whose offer is just a little bit higher than the other one. But yeah, man, I appreciate all the support, man. Shouts out to all of my sponsors, especially my Pro Bowl sponsors. Let me see scrolling on the screen right now. I'm going to catch y'all later. I'm out.